Good morning everyone and welcome for today's video. It is Sunday morning, I just woke up and I still look probably a bit tired, but I was yeah, too thrilled to, to show you. Because yesterday I received a package and this is something I am as nervous as excited I'm about. Um, it is this one. So we're going to unpack this in a traditional unpacking video pretty soon after the intro, but I just want to tell you what it is. So, as you might know, Patrick and I are really space nerds and besides that, probably most of you do not know that we also are pretty much into Japanese animes. Actually so much that I intended to make a comic myself, but never really gets the hang for it and yeah, just ran out of time actually. So I am even more excited that Huion reached out to me and asked me if I ever tried one of their, or if I ever tried a graphics tablet, which I didn't, because of the reasons stated before, and they decided to send me one. So this is the smallest version that they have, and I'm really excited to give this a try. I never did, I don't have any idea how this works, so we're going to find out together. And if you might wonder what you might be able to do with it when you're into acrylic pouring, we will find out, we will see. Because I already have some ideas what this can help us improving our pouring arts as well. So let's unpack this baby and see what I can create with it. <laughs> the tablet itself arrived safely packed in the shipping box, including this smaller box, which is again tightly wrapped around the actual box where the tablet is located in. It was pretty clean and neat, so I really liked how this one arrived at my doorstep. And unboxing this is again pretty exciting. So I always love unpacking things. I usually do not film it, by this time it was something so new that I kind of had to. <laughs> the package itself included some manual and instruction how to get the actual PDF manual online. It included, of course, the tablet and some additions like the pen, some adapters for different kinds of mobile phones, because this is something I found really neat that you can connect the tablet itself with your mobile phones, so your iPhone or whatever phone you have. This is pretty handy because not everyone is having a desktop PC or a laptop where he or she wants to use it for and therefore you can just plug it into your phone, which is great when you are on travel perhaps. Therefore it also comes pretty handy that it is really lightweight. Of course there is also the connection cable which connects the device with your tablet and on top of this in the pen holder you will find some additional nibs for the pen itself. So whenever they got worn out you can replace them pretty easily. The size of the tablet you can see pretty much in the screen here. It is a bit bigger than A4 size and it has some buttons which you can set up yourself for your personal preferences. I pretty much like that and especially like the ring in the middle which can be applied for a zoom in and zoom out and will show you my first baby steps right after this introduction. As I've said before, I have never used a graphics tablet in the past, but I'm eager to try it. For an artist, it opens a window with a couple new opportunities that paper just cannot give you. How often have you drawn or painted something and wished for an undo button? For just undoing the last brush stroke that you did or just erasing an entire part of your drawing that you just do not like so much. So this is something I really find attractive when it comes to digital painting. And not saying that I ever turn to digital painters. This is so new to me that it will take quite a while to get a hand for it. And this video is only about my first baby step showing you what I did. As I know that most of you are pouring artists as well, you might wonder what this might be for any good for you. Well, the biggest advantage that I see using a graphics tablet is actually that you can make a photograph of your poor painting and can draw directly onto this photo. Yes, of course, you can do this with a regular desktop PC or a laptop as well, but to be honest, painting and drawing with a mouse is a different thing itself. Having the possibility using a pencil-like tool to actually draw makes things so much easier. Of course, it takes a while to get a hang for it, and I'm not even close to a point that I can say I have a hang for it, but I actually really liked how this worked. During the setup phase, you let your tablet know how large your computer screen is, and then you simply make a photo of your artwork that you've just created, or that you want to paint or draw onto, 
put it onto your desktop screen and then you can just go ahead painting and drawing directly onto it, which comes really handy. By just using one of the simplest settings I was able to make a decent drawing on my photo. I could see if the design actually would work with the background itself. I could manipulate it, I could undo things, I could reverse things, I could redraw things. And if I needed it, I could even cut out things and enlarged and made it smaller again, if I needed it. In the past I used just normal regular paper drawing something out and placed it onto my artwork just to see if it would fit from the general idea. And this of course always took me longer than this took me. I would not say that this is a refined drawing, not at all. Every digital artist with a bit more experience might burst into tears laughing what you see in here. But it gives me an impression if it would work and if so I could just go ahead and draw and paint it onto my artwork. Or even if you have an idea and want to sketch out something that came up your mind. Of course paper would also work, but having the possibility having it digitally makes it easier to manipulate things. So add certain things from a photograph that you have on your desktop or changing sizes and perhaps even colors, which I didn't even tap on this project here. So bottom line, of course, everyone needs to decide on his own if a graphic tablet is something for himself. But given the fact that this is a beginner's tablet, so the Yuan HS610 is one of the most basic tablets that they offer, but given the fact that it's only about $80, it is really, really worth it. And it worked really amazing. I really was amazed how Yuan managed to make this entire work process to feel it as natural as possible. If you are into digital art and want to dive deeper into the subject, of course, Yuan also has some more advanced tablets which offer more possibilities and even tablets where you can just draw onto it itself. So meaning the tablet itself is a screen like a desktop screen and then you can just paint and draw onto this seeing the result exactly in front of you right away. Although this was not high art today, I really hope you enjoyed watching my first baby steps into digital drawing. Both of the projects that I have drawn out here are going to come in future videos very soon. The blank white canvas is a project swirling around in my head for a while now and this is a project I'm going to finish up with Patrick as my co-artist. <laughs> so we are both going to create this one because it's going to be a bit larger. Of course you're going to see me using this tablet and improving on it for future projects as well. I will use it more often for my paintings and will show you once I get more confident in everything. <laughs> and yeah. I actually hope you kind of enjoyed this video as well. Let me know what you think, if you have a graphics tablet as well. If so, I would be happy about any tips and advice that you can give me. I am pretty excited to dive deeper into drawing on it. And even Patrick got excited. So we will see where this is going to end up. Of course, if you want to have a look, I have linked the tablet down below in my video description. You will also find my social media links down there. And yeah, like and subscribe. Share the video if you know someone who might find this interesting. I thank you for your time, thank you for watching, and other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. Have a great day, bye bye!